Hey guys, just got done watching the first official episode of Tales from the Dark Side called The New Man, which was aired on the 30th of September 1984. Almost a year after the pilot was aired, when the series was released, it had 23 episodes in the first season. So, the, the new man revolves around a man called Alan Coombs, who is a realtor, and he's doing a really good job. And his boss offers him a drink, kind of like, let's celebrate. So, Alan turns him down because he's a recovering alcoholic. And as his boss is leaving, he drinks his drinks and he says, waste not, want not. And this is meaningful in this episode. So as he's leaving, this little boy runs in and he calls Alan dad. Well, Alan's never heard of him. And his name's Jerry. And he never, he doesn't know who he is. He says he never exists, thinks it's a practical joke. So basically he takes him to the station and then he goes home. When he goes home, his wife and Petey, both his, his older son, say, why don't you remember Jerry? Are you on the booze again? Are you drinking again? And Sharon reminds him that if, he, if she finds out he's drinking again, she's going to leave him. So he gets more and more and more aggressive through the episode, and there's certain scenes like he looks at Jerry like this, and he's uh, he goes into Peter's room to see Jerry, to see Peter, and it turns out that Jerry's there laying in the bed. Because Peter's gone round the friends. Well, later on, his wife has left and he goes to work. And his boss is basically having a go and saying, look, we've lost business because of you. We've lost like 2,000 commission and so forth. And then the phone rings and it's his wife on the phone. And he gets even more aggressive. And at this point, Alan's face is all dark and that, like he's been drinking. And kind of horrible, like he's not taking care of himself, like he had at the beginning of the episode so he goes home and he basically imagines his wife sitting there kind of feeding jerry and talking to him and jerry's talking to it is uh, sharon the mother and the wife of alan saying to her why why is dad sitting over on his own and all this and she goes i don't know and basically they disappear kind of like a mirage kind of thing so basically then he goes into the bedroom and starts getting aggressive because the place is empty Find stuff going, Jerry doesn't exist. Jerry doesn't exist. Really, really crazed. And he opens up one of Peter's drawers, and inside is a whole load of clothing with Jerry on. And he throws it across the room, and inside there's a bottle of booze. Well, he pulls it out, and he drinks it on the bed, laying down, and he goes, waste not, want not. Now, I kind of believe this has something to do with the boss that he's working for, to a degree. Because he said it at the beginning. So, basically, then it shows the boss again about to pour a couple of drinks. And this time it's for another man who's another uh, recovering alcoholic. And as he leaves, the boss again, the same boss, in the same building, Jerry runs in again and calls that guy dad. Now, I believe that Jerry has something to do with being an alcoholic. It's a bit obvious considering both. Alan and the other guy were alcoholics in the recovery. So I like to think that basically Jerry was in his mind and that his family had already left. Because why would the family call at work? I know that he would be at work and we didn't have mobile phones back then. But it seems a little bit impersonal, if you know what I mean. So I uh, I think that Jerry was him in denial. And I think the whole through the whole episode he was, in the, he was drunk. And that he was seeing things the way he wanted to see, like the conversations with his family were probably arguments, if they were there. If they weren't, he was probably imagining that they were, so he was talking to them. And I believe Jerry is kind of like that inner demon that we all have, that is like a symbol of how sometimes we look at movies, sometimes we look at horror things, and we get horrified by the idea of demons, vampires, ghosts, uh, serial killers. But at the end of the day, the deepest, the most darkest uh, demon of all is what's inside of us. And that's possibly addiction as well as other things. And I think this episode is horrific in that sense. And it's a real horror and scary in that essence that you think you could be like that. And that there are people out there who are like that but need help. So, you know, I really did like this episode. Probably a lot more than the trick or treat, the trick or treat one. Because... The trick-or-treat one, yeah, it was good, and it was a great pilot, 
But this had the kind of darker sense to it. It had darkness without you actually having to see anything happening. The darkness of what your soul can be like from an addiction. So, yeah, I really liked the episode. And I really liked, um, I really liked Vic Tayback, who was at the start of starring Tayback. I thought he was great in this. And he really was excellent in the role. So, there's a lot of people that didn't understand this episode. And I think, to be honest with you, if you watch it clearly, you will. And you'll enjoy it just as much as I did. So, the acting was first class, as always. And I just... What I like about these episodes is... I like how they're short, but I also like how there's so much going on in them. If you pay attention. So, yeah. Basically, that's my review of a new, The New Man. Which aired on the 30th of September, 1984. And we'll be back next time with episode two. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care and have a lovely day.